Hi, I'd like to talk to you about homonyms. What are homonyms? Well, they're words that sound exactly the same, but they're spelt differently and they have entirely different meanings. Let's look at some examples. From the pronunciation page, we're going to start with the word bow. Bow, B-O-U-G-H. Now, a bow is the big branch of a tree. And I have a nice example here. A big branch of a tree. And it's got a nice orchid coming out of it. It's not real, actually, but never mind. It's still very nice. That's bow, B-O-U-G-H. Now, we also have bow, B-O-W, which is a polite greeting. A bow. But, just to make life a little bit more difficult, we also have B-O-W with a totally different pronunciation, bow, and this is a ribbon, something pretty that you put in your hair. My goodness, we have bow, we have bow, and we have my nice orchid in a large bow. Let's try another example from the pronunciation page. Do. D-O-U-G-H. D-O-E. Do. It sounds exactly the same, spelt differently, and one of them is the mixture that we make cookies and bread out of and also is slang for money, and the other is a female deer or a musical note. Do you know which is which? Take a guess. D-O-E is the musical note and a female deer. Let's try a last one from the pronunciation page. Heard. H-E-A-R-D. Heard is in I heard about homonyms, to hear, but we also have heard, H-E-R-D, as in a group of animals. The fact that I've taken three words from the pronunciation po page and shown you how they work as homonyms show that homonyms are actually quite common, but that doesn't make them any easier. How are we going to remember which one means which? Well, we have to look for hints, little hints. So let's try it with the word break. Break, B-R-E-A-K and B-R-A-K-E. Now, one of them means to smash, to break a plate, and one of them means to stop. You put your foot on the brakes in the car. How can we remember which is which? Let's think about breakfast. It's pronounced differently. It's not pronounced breakfast. It's pronounced breakfast. But it's spelt exactly the same as break, B-R-E-A-K, as in to smash, to destroy. When are you likely to smash that plate? At breakfast. So break as in smash, think of breakfast, think of breaking the plate, and then you know E-A-K is break as in smash. Do you want to try another one? What about sight, sight, sight? Sight, S-I-G-H-T. Well, let's think of that. G as glasses or spectacles on their side. Spectacles relate to vision, relate to sight. So that's easy enough to remember. S-I-G, the glasses. S-I-G-H-T, sight as in you see something. Now sight, S-I-T-E, is like a website or a building site. Sight. C-I-T-E means to quote. Well, how are we going to remember? When is an S? When is a C? 
I would love to hear some hints from you. Do write in and give them to us, and I'm sure everybody sharing this blog will be very pleased to get them. Now, there's a little exercise for you to do. And as you're doing the exercise, remember to say the words out loud and practice your pronunciation. Good luck, Diane.